Hello and welcome back once again, fellow vinyl aficionados. This is Eraser's Vinyl Fast Five, and this is episode number 22. <laughs> Hey, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back once again. Thank you very much for joining in for another Fast Five. For those that this may be the first time, I'm not sure how many more times I need to say it, but I'm going to do it one more time. What I do is I get people to suggest a number between 1 and 48 because I've got 48 bins of records. I've actually got a couple more, but we'll stick with 48. And then between 1 and 30 because there's at least 30 albums in every bin. There's more like 50, but again, we're just going to keep it 1 to 48 and 1 to 30. I take that album and then I try and find four other albums that all have something in common. Pretty straightforward. And everybody's kind of having fun and playing along, so I appreciate it. So that's how that works. It could be something on the album cover. It could be something on the back cover. It could be the band name. could be a song from the album. Uh, it could be a few things. Those are kind of the things, but there might be some other stuff. Sometimes they're easier and sometimes they're harder. But what are you going to do? I thank you all for playing along. So, first up, Tom from The Undead of Night suggested Stephen King's 1408. So, bin 14, album number 8, happens to turn out and be Donovan and Mellow Yellow. They call me Mellow Yellow. You have to sing it. If you say it, you have to sing it. It's just a rule. I'm sorry, it's a rule. Anyway, so there you go. That's a pretty kind of cool album cover. Would have worked when I did one where every album cover had a cigarette on it. There's a, a, um, a blast from the past <laughs> on one of the things it could be. It's not that this time, but it could be that. Anyway, there's Donovan, Mellow Yellow. There's the front. There's the back. There's Donovan. There's a naked lady up in the corner. Animated naked lady. There's a naked lady over in that corner. That's a totally different story. Up next is Madge, a lady from Detroit. And she's been naked a few times, too. Anyway, Madonna and True Blue. There's Madonna back in the glory days. There's the front. There's the back. Album number two. Oh, I'm going to give you the answer at the end, by the way, if this is your first time tuning in. There's going to be a spoiler alert, so if you would like to play along and leave your answer in the comments, please do. And give me your suggestion for some bin numbers and some album numbers. I've got a few uh, that I've got already built up, but I will try and get to everything eventually. So let me know those bin numbers and album numbers. All right, up next is this dude from The Police. And this is Sting and the Dream of the Blue Turtles. Yeah, there you go. Sting, front, back. He's been with some naked ladies too. For long periods of time. You know what I mean. <laughs> Next up, get the album going the right way. One of the best from one of the best. This is Sign of the Times. Sign of oh, the Times. I don't know what he called it. You know what I mean. And Prince, there he is right there. Such a great album. Double album, good stuff. Sign of the Times. There is the front. There is the back. Could be something on the front, could be something on the back, could be the artists, could be songs on the album, could be the album titles. You got to figure it out, okay? And last but not least, I don't know if this is a good picture of her or not. I think it's kind of a cool picture, but there's Cher, and this is, what album is this? I should know that. Maybe is this just self-titled? I think it is. Um, yep, self-titled. But it does have Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves on it. But that is not the name of the album. It, but does, it does have that on there. So there you go. There's Cher. There's the front. There's the back. There's some yellow tags on the vinyl sleeve. All right. So let's give you a recap. Cher, self-titled, but contains the hit Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. Also, Naked Ladies. It does not have to do with that. See, you're thinking, I know, it's Naked Ladies. It's not. Just happened to be something that came to mind. Oh, my God. Prince, Sign of the Times. There's the front. There's the back. Sting and the Dream of the Blue Turtles. There's the front. There's the back. Not much going on on the back of that one. Madonna. The front and the back. 
Very blue album. It's a very blue album, right? Yeah. From the Sire Record Company. True Blue by Madonna. And the one that started it off, which was bin number... What bin was this, anyway? I don't know if I said that at the beginning. Uh, yeah, I did. 1408, Stephen King. Uh, spooky. Bin 14, album number 8, started us off. Donovan and Mellow Yellow. There's the front. There's the back. All right. So, for those playing along... Here is your chance to stop watching if you don't want to see the answer and make your way to the comment section and let me know what you think ties those all together. There is something. There might be more than one thing, but there is something specifically that I thought of. Uh, if you want to know the answer, stay tuned through the spoiler alert. But if you're playing along and you're leaving now, thank you so much for watching episode number 22 of Racer's Vinyl Fast Five. Okay, spoiler alert. All right, we're back after the spoiler alert. I'm not sure if my phone going off made it through or not, but if it did, my apologies. Okay, so the answer. I think you probably know this one. Maybe, maybe not. But we started off with 1408, and that was Donovan. One name artists. There you go. That's the answer. So Donovan, so it had nothing to do with Mellow Yellow, but Mellow Yellow. All right. And, you know, the naked lady on the back. Donovan. Madonna. Sting. Gordon Sumner. But Sting, he does have a couple of names. He just doesn't use them all. Prince and Sign of the Times. The album name at this point does not matter because, again, it was Single Word Artists. Share. There you go. All right. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Let me know um, some bin numbers and some album numbers. Again, I've got a couple built up, but I am going to try and get to them all eventually. And if you guys keep watching, I'll keep making them. So thanks again for watching episode 22 of Racers Vinyl Fast Five.